Hey guys, this is Killerob speaking and today we are in Moonshine Inc. It is a little indie game that is coming out to Steam on the 1st of December. In full release, not early access. So, pretty soon and when you're seeing it, probably even sooner. I'm currently playing a bit of a pre-release version as you can see down in the bottom corner there. And what we're going to do is check out what the game has to offer. And... It seems to be a little bit of a mixture between Tea Garden Simulator of the more spicy variant and Potion Craft, both titles which I have covered on this channel already and uh, quite liked. So we're going to delve into this one and explore its mechanics. Alright, let's get going. At this point I do have some... 8 hours in the game roughly, so I have uh, definitely gone through uh, the um, the basics and understand them by now, or at least I, I would hope so. And what we're going to do is, first of all, lead you through it a little bit. I'm not going to spoil the uh, main, uh, main story here just yet. We are going to, in this Let's Play, focus mostly on game mechanics, because that is what I do best. So, chapter 1. Let's go! And in this tutorial, I'm uh, the games tutorial, I'm going to do a tutorial myself for you that is hopefully very concise and just gives you the gist of things. And then as we discover the game mechanics together, we're going to discuss them and uh, just in general check them out a little better and see how it all fits together, if it does. Welcome to the world map. Oh yes. Um, we we can currently see our, our base there, right on the autobahn, a, as you would do with moonshining businesses. Um, may, maybe that could be made a little bit more thematic there, with uh, just a little gravel road into the nothingness. But uh, anyway, we do have a nice store sitting here, which is just a few hours drive away. And that store does have a, a taste for sweet things, as you can buy all things sweet. Which is rather thematical, as you do need sweet things and a little bit of yeast to produce uh, some other things which are on high demand. And uh, we are going to buy 50 kilos of uh, the, that first sugar and maybe 50 kilos of that other sugar, or 53 if the game so desires. And then um, buy that for just $309. That is cheap. I don't know about you, but... Um, Last time I bought uh, 103 kilos of sugar in my local store, they did look at me a little funny. So um, uh, we are going to buy uh, this stuff right there and, um, and then return to base. So as you can see, there are a few different ingredients there already and there will be a lot more in, um, in the future. Let's, let's take a look. We do have a premium medium-sized barrel. No, it's not premium. Um, and that one is, hmm, it's not the cleanest and it's not the most durable, but we're going to place it here anyway, uh, right, right, right there. So that of course is a fermentation tank, but uh, we can't operate it without uh, having someone to, no, slow, I, I don't want Charles, the slow learner. Please game, let me, se let me select James, please. Nope, okay, well, not going to happen. Well, it's better than the party animal who drinks all our produce. Um, ah, we need free... That, that sounds awesome. But he's the driver and he's he's the cleaner and hard worker. Repairing. Okay, well, that's, that's cool. That can work. Um, we are going to send him that offer because we can't reduce pay just yet. But you see, it has a bit of a... No, tycoony element to it, which is really good. It seems to be working nicely. And of course, I have gone through this already and kind of know how it works at the moment. But um, let you experience it as well. These are traits and two of them not so positive. Later on, these can specialize on three different levels where three is the ultimate and has a really strong effect. The first one is a nice little effect and we should be able to see the first one after a few hours in into this. Okay, a few hours only if you play as slowly as I do. But now, uh, we need to also craft something. 
in the distillation tap. Your ABC, I would love to go for another one, but yeah, well, well this one, yes, yes. We, we do need something for distillation. So we're going to create it with James. Yeah, with that James. And uh, going to close that one and uh, then, uh, oh, we can just place it. Mm. Right, that is currently a little bit of a weird thing in the tutorial. You're crafting one, but at the same time, you already have one in inventory, so you will have two. But um, that, that's, that's fine because you need two anyway. You don't want to wait for that batch to, to finish, do you? You want to start a second one. So now that we have a fermentation barrel and that distillation set up, we can create a new batch. And uh, Grunkle Donald here does have uh, a few hints for us what we could brew here. So let's just select the ingredients. This is really neatly made, by the way, I think. Um, so we select the barrel there and then Select the simple yeast because it's the only thing that we have. And then we see a, a kind of flavor chart and a match percentage to the recipe that we are currently investigating. As you see there, it does have a bit of a spike towards bitter, not only to acrid. Is that how you pronounce it? Acrid? I would say so. So conveniently, it's the other 50 kilos of sugar that we bought that is the second ingredient that we need here. And we are supposed to match it to that one specifically. Okay, well, and now we just play around with the um, difference. And you can see it match in the bitter versus acrid scale and see how that taste profile shifts, the flavor chart. And we are going to match it perfectly right there. And now we just need to choose our distillation apparatus and we are ready to kick this one off. So this is based on a new recipe and now we need to set up fermentation. And that is where the second part of it all comes in and is pretty neat. Look at this. There's some, some chemistry going on and shit. So here we have the flow chart for it. We are going to, to mash or, well, not for these, um, to put that into the mash and then drop it into the barrel. 50 grams of yeast, uh, just your standard uh, simple kindle and then some water. And we need to make sure that we don't put too much sugar in there because otherwise they, they die off sugar. And by that, I don't mean the customers, but the yeast bacteria, of course. So, uh, simple powder there, and that is... Uh, um, yeah, I, I go like this. Put the maximum amount of mash in, and then fill it up with water, and then go to the... Oh, that was too far. Well, um, now we have not the, the most sugar possible in there. Currently, a little below optimum fermentation temperature for this recipe, but um, we, we take it. And down here you can choose how long you want to ferment it and you do gain different kinds of flavors as you go along and these are slightly randomized each time and uh, also depend probably on the apparatus on some of those ingredients and the yeast of course and and all that so uh, if we were to choose a different yeast you would get a different tendency in what these uh, these extra tastes are going for in the profile. For, in, for example, the Simple Kindle does make sour and sweet, if I remember it rightly. But um, yes, so now we're supposed to reduce the time from 3 days, 15 hours, down to 16 hours. What you see happening here is that the ethanol content is being reduced as you don't allow to ferment as much. But also you're not getting some of those unwanted flavors into there. So we are supposed to put it right there. All right, well, fair enough. That is matching the profile pretty well. And then we're going to create that and um, that's 18 hours left. Do we want to wait 18 hours now? Not quite, but uh, this game is running pretty fast when you want it to, so that's not an issue. So eight times speed and uh, then I can, it's running. It's not decreasing, and that's because James is asleep again. But now, take a look at this. This is our recipe map, and that is why I was saying that this is a little bit like Potion Craft. Um, as we do have a map to discover, and loads of recipes. 
looking good to me. Let's see what we can find out about this. So now we're supposed to wait for the fermentation process to end. And James here is um, at work, is he? <laughs> I doubt it. But anyway, um, we are now waiting until this bar is finished. And usually you have plenty of things to do during this time, so it's not really a waiting game. A, uh, what would you say, loading bar simulator. No, not, not really. This is just during the tutorial. A little, a little slow here, so it's fine. And there we go. So um, let's take a look at this batch. Now comes the third step. That is really important. It says second step, but like recipe first, then you set up the fermentation, and now we set up the distillation. And that is the final step before the bottling process. And uh, yes, uh, look at this. This is actually really cool. These are the, the jars, the, the slices of produce that you're getting out of it. The longer you wait, the less alcohol content there is. And uh, or it should be technical ethanol content there is. And uh, you can choose the, the flame rate. Well, if you're firing wood, there's just two settings. But for the more advanced stuff, you can set it quite d deliberately at a certain flame speed. And um, now we are supposed to set it to high. And you see that each jar here corresponds to, we started with 200 liters, each jar corresponds to 25 liters of produce. But um, on high, this process is a lot faster. So um, let's take a look. We need to modify it such that the outcome, and that is currently a little bit broken, um, th th this mechanic isn't working that way in the, in the actual game because you need to have at least three hearts and you don't reach 30% of ethanol with just... One, well, you do reach it exactly with one jar, but you need at least three, so you won't reach it. But anyway, this is the this is the concept here, um, and it it is not complaining about us doing this. But now it has 30% ethanol, and everyone drinking it is happy. Not. So uh, yeah, we are going to create this one, and now it just needs to go through this process, and all that needs to be cooked out and and stuff. So. Um, well, let's close the window and just wait again. So now they're coming and running and filling everything up in progress. They put the ingredients from there to there and add anything they need to. And now it is a work in progress. And there it is completed. Uh, you can pause by spacebar, as is common in almost every game that has some real-time component to it. And now... Final step, the easy step, is, well, well, at the moment it is easy because we can't do anything specific here. Um, later on, you can either add um, neutral ethanol to it, or you can add water to, uh, uh, yeah, to, uh, to make it a little less heavy on uh, going blind. And uh, now, so uh, we are going to, to match the recipe, which we can't really do at the moment, but quality rating up here, ethanol content up there, how much you're actually getting out of it all, and now pricing. Uh, well, couldn't change that in the tutorial, but that's a good price. So that is showing the expected profits, taking the uh, batch production costs into consideration. And then there's um, a bit of, um, uh, well, hints going on here, which uh, do tell you about some stuff that you that would be handy to have or that you should be considering. So, um, mastery points, yes, Rotgut. Oh yeah, we are supposed to, to name our recipe, and I'm going to be extremely creative as required by the tutorial. Instead of Rotgut 1, as a bit of a programmer, I say it is Rotgut 0. So, uh, we are going to bottle it and we get 50 mastery points for that. Mastery points, you ask? What is this, Kilrob? Well, glad you asked. It is uh, quite simply that uh, we do have... Ah, we do have a tech tree. But first, we need to deliver this stuff to a place where people are buying it. So, somehow, everyone knows about these locations. Uh, that are just randomly put on the map, and no, not that randomly. This is always the same for the first chapter. 
But we do have our beautiful car here that is dog slow and can't carry anything and breaks down every four runs. Not not looking good. So Charles is driving. Oh, sorry, Charles was the uh, the the slow one. Maybe ah, oh, so James was the, was the good one. I I I forgot. Sorry, that was. That was wrong. Um, but we now have 28 liters of Rotgut Zero. And it has a faked ethanol content of exactly 30%. And we are going to sell it for 22 bucks and bring it to the old shack. So set destination, set destination here on the world map. No, we're not. So, sorry, we're not going to do this this loop around. You can change the direction you're, you're going or the the path that you're taking because there will be special ev events along the road and uh, probably don't want to run into too many of those let's try to avoid them but we start the delivery and um, you can what you can always check at a given location yes so um, each location has a current alert level at some point the cops are going to raid the location when this one is full. We have a risk level, alert level, that rises as you are selling more and more, as it becomes more popular. And once it's full, um, the police alert generally goes up by one, I believe. And when it's full, it's, you have one week until game over. And uh, this one then resets, so you can start anew. This up here, in the corner is where we see our missions, our current missions. The, the main one here, complete the tutorial, that's the story mission. And then um, this one is a side quest. Those are optional, of course, but they have benefits from time to time, which are quite significant, especially in... Well, I don't know how it is later on. I've just been dropped into Chapter 2 in my first playthrough. Well, playthrough, not playthrough. Uh, play till Chapter 2. But... Um, these have been quite powerful so far. So mission log, that is our side mission and poor old man is in need of poor man's tequila. Okay, now we can take a look at the tech tree and what we are finding is that mashing is uh, something that we really want because it's very cheap and just opens up a lot of components. So we unlock this and as you see here there's plenty of other things there and we do have a different tech tree for distillation as well after use it's best to clean it but this is this is a little over the top i would say 93 percent that's still good enough well not for james is it no no of course not for james there's also a step in the general fermentation process which is the pre-fermentation and that is done via some kind of cauldron or some other apparatus there and craft the apparatus don't have a worker selected for the task um yeah we don't because we haven't even delivered anything this is when my pausing actually hinders the tutorial from working now we have someone available james is finished cleaning get on the job mate that is all good and then place the cauldron in the base when it's done and I shall oblige. Uh, construction left, mm, three hours, it's all good. Our car should be back as well at this point. There we go. And now you don't need to repair anything, mate. Uh, it's all good. So now we can go here and place down our old cauldron. Also, our second distillation thing is done so we can place that down as well. Uh, I'll just put it anywhere doesn't really matter as long as it's not too far away so let's put that there and then they say we should make a new batch so let's do that the first one has been completed and we can archive that we can remake these recipes when we want to a limited number of times to cut down on the tedium of the job so let's um, archive this one and make a new batch load recipe is what we're supposed to do we have so in these recipes, you do see that you uh, do get a, a bit of a clue of what you need. Not necessarily the exact setup of the fermentation and, the, well, the ingredients, but you, you do see the, the profile, you do see how much alcohol you, you want to have in there, and you see what kind of ingredients would get you to that profile, potentially. 
So we're choosing our two components that we are supposed to get and you see that we are overshooting the uh, desired profile. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because what we have also seen is that you can remove jars which then remove parts of that taste profile. But yeah, so pre-fermentation is the old cauldron for both of them and then we choose the um, a premium medium-sized barrel and then uh, let's see if we can... Oh, well, that has done the trick already. We get a perfect match. And then we choose the distillation apparatus, the new one, the three-star one, whatever that means. And I think we're ready here. And then, of course, we need to be wary of the police. Uh, so, so far, that shouldn't be much of an issue, but uh, things will change. Oh, yes. Now we have completed the, uh, uh, the the tutorial. There, here we go. Yes, so site mission next and well equipped. That is craft one fermentation apparatus. But first, for the Pullman's tequila, uh, I think what we wanted to do here is to set up the fermentation process. Temperature looking good, but that is going to change as the day rhythm changes. So this temperature is going up and down and up and down. And that, of course, is not optimal for getting that taste right. But um, here you see what we have done for the, the split uh, that has been set prior. And now we are supposed to just, again, um, define how much of that stuff we want. And let's first discern what we want to um, get in terms of tastes in there. So sweet, yes but also salty so do we have do we have a salty one we do have an acrid one and a salty one here and here we have just salty and a little bitter bitter is not part of this taste so but not neither is no acrid is part of this taste so i think this is this is the one we need to go for simple blast probably not going to be that good though um let's uh see i think that one only takes like 15 percent of sugar maximum let's see 18 17 16 16 okay there we go that leads to ethanol seven percent that is not 30 last time i checked oh damn and that is with full fermentation after 22 hours yeah all right well um more taste is better though because we like i said we can reduce the number of taste uh, jars later on so that we just cut off that long tail that has some randomized tastes but um, doesn't actually contain any ethanol so we're going to use this um, that's looking good and create 22 hours left james is on the job Charles, the slowpoke, is also on a job. He's sitting behind the wheel, driving slowly. That's not his fault, though. So, um, yeah. Um, uh, to the old shack. Oh, no, he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. Okay, cool. Let's see how sales are going. Here you see some sales graphs. And uh, then what we also can see is their preferences. They prefer category moonshine. Let's go to the recipes and you see that nice oh yes that is how it works so as soon as you craft one of these recipes and finish the batch you are going to discover the surrounding area based on how high quality of a product of a batch you made for that recipe and what we discovered here is um well this one needs to close um is that we do have a bit of a hint here now for another uh, premium? Premium spirit? No, that's not premium, is it? No, it's cheap. But yeah, we have disco discovered this different recipe, and we don't know how much it should have of that, but we do know what base ingredients it should have. And once we learn a little bit more about this, which could be done in various ways, we could, um, if we go here, we could, for instance... Now, is this, is this completely encompassed by this? I think you, at maximum, get a two-star here. Like a two-dot. 
and then uh, you need to actually brew it in order to um, to uncover it fully and learn about it. But yeah, there are plenty of recipes to learn and uh, let, let's see how it goes. First, our slowpoke ne needs to get back to base. There he is, delivery finished. And what I wanted to check here is we do have um, the customer preferences and let's go around here under a bridge. Uh, they like moonshine and fine. Fine is not something that we can do just yet. Uh, local den is cheap. Oh, well, yeah, cheap. Cheap is not a problem. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can make some poor man's tequila for this poor man and check in on the base. Fermenting. 22 hours left. Oh, no. He needs to carry a lot of water from over there, from the river. Ah, oh, that takes a while. Yep, that does take a while. So go faster, mate. Go faster. I probably should have taken everything closer to the river. Took him a good few hours to fill that up. So let's craft another fermentation apparatus because that is what is required of us. Fermentation. Um, open fermentation tank. We could take a look at... No. If we wait a little bit, we could probably grab on the technology tree uh, the closed fermentation and that one oh it's just 25 yeah let's let's grab this and now go to the crafting menu see what we get now uh, pre-fermentation fermentation there closed fermentation tank look at the stat oh big tank yeah we don't have stuff yet which we can use for the big tank like 400 liters that is it's a little big um, but the closed fermentation tank is just as large as the barrel and look at the stats durability and cleanly clean points are a lot higher but so is the price i think we can pull that up uh, off though so he crafts faster james mr james here he is a hard worker and very efficient and uh, just brilliant of all so let him create this one and this is a closed fermentation tank 200 liters yes let's go what you also can see now is the money is ticking in we are slowly gaining money as uh, the world map location here the shack is um is selling off uh, raising alert risk very high we're getting do we get new customers not at this time but um, one thing that i wanted to show you is this storage page and people are getting satiated with <laughs> this stuff in probably all kinds of uh, ways they, yeah probably in going to the toilet ways um but this one is selling well until this bar reaches this point then gets a penalty and then there it's an 85 percent penalty and you see that down here so wariness goes up minus 25 percent and then minus 85 percent so currently we're selling 0.7 liters roughly per hour james in his might and glory has crafted us the the bestest of fermentation tanks and uh we, we shall place it right away let's go to the base and maybe put it in between the, the water and <laughs> uh this is where they store the goods as you can see there you can click on the individual parts here so this is the workshop this is where they store the goods this is where the water goes so maybe put it in between so the he doesn't have to run that far but yeah beautiful big tank we ah can't actually place it there well let's put it there then we are supposed to hire another worker and oh okay drives faster lower chance of events that's great and energetic faster movement he's a little expensive though um we could go recycler Repair resource cost. Okay, it's interesting. There are a few good ones in here, and we can always go for um, e even cheaper in the negotiations. You can pull that down, and you see that uh, the chance of success varies with that. Um, offers left. Okay, free. So you do have um, a bit of a, a bit of a choice there. It's almost motorsport manager like with those free ticks, and you need to get the contract right. Maybe you remember that. But um, yes, um, do we want to take William? Let's take William, the speedy boy. Yeah, he gets a sign-up bonus. Oh, that 
that's nothing. No, no. Uh, we do want to sign him at uh, 69%, which is very nice. So let's send him the offer and check. There you go. So we're almost done fermenting this stuff. There we have it. Let's go to our batches and set up the distillation. James is working on it. That should be good. So set it up and there we have it. Hmm. Now look at this. We do have an ethanol content that gives us a quality rating of 10. Not great. Um, but there are some components in here which are pretty good. We do have all the sweetness up there. We could, now we can't really pull out sweetness, but we can pull out or should pull out some saltiness and acridity. Is that what you would call it? I don't know. Made up word. Um, so we could pull out this one and this one. And that's a good match. And that also increases, as you see, the ethanol content. A little bit. 23% match. If we reduce um, any, any other selection here, it's actually becoming worse. So uh, not a good choice, unfortunately. That is with low fire. We could check if we have a high burn and could put that. Wow, that is really killing it. That, nah. Nah, that doesn't work. Now let's go with the slow burn. So, um, yes, we wanted to pull out these two. That's pretty much perfect. We have more than three bottles. In this process, you need three bottles at least in order to make that recipe work. And we do have a 97% flavor match. Doesn't sound too bad, and it's just 9%, so at least the priest who wants this stuff isn't going to die. Not instantly, at least. So, that is set up, and now it's waiting for 21 hours and 42 minutes, plus whatever James decides is a reasonable time to not work before getting that started. And there it is completed. Let's go here, set up the bottling, and uh, then set up the delivery. Because this one does look pretty good. I mean, ethanol match is a little questionable. Can't blend in more spirits. But, and let's see, the selling price. Oh, well, it's worth something like 35 bucks, but we are selling for 40. Don't have to sell it that quickly, after all. So yes, 23%, and let's bottle that one and archive it. And now, we're going to go to our inventory and check out what we have. We have 89 liters of Pullman's tequila sitting right there. Let's go to the world map. And this chap wanted to have 20 liters. So we're just going to select him there, right there. Uh, I believe it might be quicker to... No, no, not that. Not, not that way. Come on. Pull it over here. Can you... Can you pull it over there? Let's see. Can minimize this one. And uh, no, it doesn't want to. Anyway, then this is definitely shorter. Then I thought this might be a little quicker. And we're going to take William, the the daredevil, the, the race car driver. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's let's see how this goes. We uh, start the livery right there and speed up time a bit. See him go. There he races, and delivery is complete. Yes. Let's take a look at the recipes. Poor man's tequila. And we got this one. And this one revealed. Uh, honey and cane sugar and corn syrup. And that is the taste profile. And we know it needs 30%. All right. But I think that is something that we're going to aim for next time. After we go to the shop and buy um, a reasonable amount of sugary uh, ingredients. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.